I'm David Booth from driveit.ca. I'm here with Thomas Brattle, the head of calibration for this new 983 Boxer engine. And it's got a lot of new technology, enough that Thomas here is gonna help me geek out seriously on the new technology. So Thomas, could you please tell us, this, this is not a carryover engine from the previous Porsches. What's new in general about the engine? What is it bigger? Is it more powerful? How does it work? Exactly. It's uh, complete new from scratch. So there are no carryover parts from the previous engine. Um, it has 3.6 liter displacement compared to the three liter engine. And um, it's a very high degree of integration on the engine. So we try to integrate as much as possible in the main parts. So therefore it's also quite compact compared to the previous engine as we went to an hybrid concept now in the 992, the first hybrid in this car. Um, and therefore we had to package a lot of new parts, high voltage parts in this more or less same package. You got rid of the alternator because you're now using the hybrid motor to, to power everything, right? Exactly, we have an e-motor in the PDK, yeah. so we can start the engine with the e-motor in the PDK yeah. and we don't need a generator anymore. Yeah. And as well as we have now 400 voltage in the car, yeah. we don't need the typical um, climate compressor or the um, hydraulic pump. So all this stuff is now on 400 volts. So there's no belt drive at all? There's no belt drive. The, um, the engine is completely closed and capsuled. So you don't see anything turning when the car is running. And I think you said something about the engine's lower, it's 110 millimeters lower. Exactly, yeah, because we have here some control units to package um, underneath the hood. And um, yeah, we don't have much space in this quite small car. Now, if we walk over here, here's the PDK. Now, I think, and I'm gonna point, hopefully I'll point at the right thing, this is the new uh, hybrid drive, right? Exactly, this is the PDK, um, you know, from the 992 already and the integrated um, uh, e-motor here um, for this um, hybrid drivetrain. So it does mean because it's integrated right in the transmission that the e-motor can't drive the wheels by itself. The gasoline right. the engine's always working to, uh, with the electric the motor. The e e-motor is directly connected yeah. on the drive shaft. There's no clutch in between, yeah. so we cannot drive purely electric. Yeah. And the e-motor is running in the oil of the gearbox, so it's cooled um, with the gearbox oil. And this actually starts the car. This starts the engine, right? Exactly, so you don't even have a starter motor, no alt separate alternator, no fan belt, just everything works from this. Yes, Oh exactly. wow, that's cool. But okay, now, and this is what got me excited, and God forgive me, everybody that are out there in audience land, but I get really excited about these kind of things. This is an electronically augmented turbocharger, so it's, a regular turbocharger that is driven by the exhaust gases, right. but it's also got an electric component as well. Exactly. This is the essential innovation of the turbo hybrid uh, concept that we have an electrified turbocharger. It's a quite big turbocharger as we de-throttled the whole engine. Yeah. And therefore a big turbocharger tends to have a turbo lag yeah. and to overcome or even to make it better, we have the e-motor here. Yeah. To, um, to speed up the turbocharger very fast if you want, uh, if you go to the throttle. And on the other hand, um, if we have some exhaust gas, um, residual exhaust gas, we can recover this energy as we don't have a wastegate anymore. So we have to accelerate and brake the turbocharger only with the e-motor here. So uh, earlier uh, uh, off camera, you told me that this turbocharger is as big as a truck turbocharger, like quite, a diesel truck. Quite big. It's yeah. huge, yeah. right? And normally you'd get a huge amount of turbo lag. Right. And then, so you use the electric motor to get rid of the turbo lag so that it speeds it up really quickly electrically. Exactly, even, even faster than a smaller um, normal turbocharger. But then, and, and this to me is the absolute crux of the whole thing is that this turbocharger because it has an electric component just like regen braking you can reverse the polarity reverse the current and the turbocharger can actually feed the hybrid battery right um, in a quite big um, area of the engine operating map yeah. we have basically too much exhaust heat we yeah. recover energy out yeah. of that um, by braking the turbocharger and um, up to 10 kilowatt of electric energy. And we put this energy directly to the e-motor in the PDK. So the, the energy from this 
can either recharge the, uh, the hybrid battery or if the battery's full, it can uh, power the electric motor, which means the gasoline motor is using less power and less gas. We reduce the power of the, of the gasoline motor and use the power from the, from the electric turbocharger to drive oh, with 10 kilowatt more. That's too cool. And, and, and if I understand correct, the reason you chose the big turbochargers is one, to get more power at high speeds, but also to deliberately have it so that if it's creating too much turbo boost, you can get regen from the electric motor in there to actually, again, charge the battery. Exactly. Also, we, we have to brake, we have to recover um, to prevent the turbocharger from overspeeding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, when, and you don't have a wastegate anymore because, again, and I seem to be repeating myself, that if when there's too much turbo boost and you want to bleed some off, you don't use a wastegate, you just re slow down the turbocharger with the electric motor, and that, again, charges the battery, correct? Yeah. As, as, the, as the name says, it's waste, yeah. so wastegate. Yeah. So we want to recover the energy, so we got rid of the wastegate and um, recover everything by the e-motor. So, n some numbers now. This is 3.6 liter. Um, how much horsepower does it make? Um, um, the system power yeah. um, is um, 398 kilowatt. So um, we make, I have to calculate in, in horsepower, it's um, 433 okay. horsepower. Now, the thing that I liked um, a lot about this is because the electric motor here on the turbocharger increases boost quickly, so the gas engine gets a whole bunch of horsepower at lower RPM. Right. Plus you have the torque of the electric motor in the PDK. It really launches very quickly off the line. Yes. I, I think you said something about in 2.5 seconds, this GTS will actually accelerate further than a Turbo S? Am I correct um, about right. that? Right, so we tried to like to compare different um, car concepts with this traffic light start, so no launch control and special mm. features. So from still stand, full throttle in sport mode, for example, yeah. um, after 2.5 seconds, we measure the, the way. Yeah. And um, the 992.2 GTS now makes 21 meters. Um, this is like the Taycan GTS or even more than the than the current Turbo S. In other words, I mean, meters. eventually the Turbo S would be faster, top speed and, and like this. To but the for end. the first jump off the line, right. because of all the torque from the e-turbocharger and the uh, hybrid, it's going to be more powerful. Exactly. A much, much better acceleration. And um, we make seven meters compared to the, uh, to the same predecessor, to yeah. the current GTS. It's one and a half car lengths, that's okay. a very big step for us. And I think this does, what, three seconds to 100 kilometers an hour? Um, exactly, yeah. yeah, close to three seconds. Technology, we keep thinking that the evolution, the revolution of the internal combustion engine is over now that we're going to full electrics. But the fact is, Porsche has found something more to innovate. And I got to tell you, in terms of recent innovations, of, uh, of gas engines. This electronic turbocharger, the fact that it can add power and regenerate the battery all in one technology is fantastic. And I've got to take you, my hat off to you guys. I mean, this is, for a, a guy with a 40 year old engineering degree, that is as cool a technology as I've seen in a long time. It was a big treat for the whole engineering team to work on such a challenge. It was fun. Thanks very much for explaining Thank you. It to us. I'm David Booth for driving.ca.